Hey everybody, it's Party Elite with another episode of my Vampire Counts Let's Play. Welcome to Castle Partyhof, where the party might come to a screeching halt, actually. Our economy took quite a beating because I decided to have three armies that were fully equipped. I've got Vlad, who of course has his, you know, army of greatness. And then we've got uh, Manfred, my son, who has a decent army, really. I was going to be balanced out alongside, uh, rather with some swapping, with Sigvald the Soiled's army, which really is also a little imbalanced because, again, these guys were going to swap some, some units and balance it all out. Now, all my money is going to army upkeep. Nothing else counts as an expense. So I might actually have to disband Sigvald's army, which is unfortunate because... This is the second time Sigvald has been brought back from the dead. Uh, I did lose him, I think it was last session. So I hate to do that, but I might I might just have to. Visiting the World Bank is not going to uh, save me here. I'm going to take a lot of attrition while I wait to take any, you know, Dwarven Holt. On the bright side, and kind of not so good for me right now, is the fact that the Greenskins are pushing up as well. The reason why that's not so good for me is because I won't have access to the World Bank. The reason it is good for me is because I don't have to deal with the dwarfs as heavily. So, a little bit of a, a tense situation there. Now, our relationship, I just noticed, seems to be deteriorating, which is not good. What trespasses against the Greenskins? I don't remember any of those. Great power they don't like. Alright, let's do some more, like, hero actions against the Empire or something. Make sure they don't hate us. But... First, I need to figure out this financial situation. I don't want to disband Manfred's army. He's my son. I want him to be there. You know, we're a we're a dynamic duo like that. Um, but yeah, so this might have to go. All right, let's see. This siege here is not nice. Ungrim Iron Fist. Manfred has got a decent army. Amityville, I believe, has a good garrison. So I might actually be able to take them on. Let's try it out. Attack. Oh, okay. I mean, that works for me. Begin. Hmm. I don't know if I want to chase him out. That's I'll outside of reinforcement range. Of the city. Yeah, I don't think I want to chase him. He'll probably siege me again. Maybe I could step out and... Don't think so. Um, try and ambush him. I think we can do that. Let's uh, pop into an ambush stance. I feel like he's going to come back in. Hopefully he, he doesn't spot me and I can ambush him. Uh, meanwhile, Vlad, we're going to keep him at Kemperbad because unfortunately, um, public order, if I recall correctly, yeah, would drop terribly. I don't want another rebellion on my hands. I uh, might actually push my agents into uh, this province just to bring corruption up and make sure that uh, some of that public order benefit starts to take place you yes. as well let's get you let's get you up here two turns it's not a problem banshee rosalind let's kill someone from the empire why not you because we don't have money that's why not obviously that that would make sense that would make sense all right so we're going to try and ambush him we've got no money to do anything with um these last couple of dwarven holes i feel like the greenskins are going to just keep pushing up for the most part, they might have actually dealt with the dwarfs everywhere outside of, obviously, these three cities and, uh, you know, what's left up here. I mean, it's only a handful of cities, large provinces, but a handful of cities, so that might work out. Uh, okay, now the question remains, with Sigvald's army, I might actually... Hmm. It's a decent army. You know what, let's try and hit Zufbar. Wow. Uh, I mean... You know, we might be able to make it still. That's terribly against me. But let's see, we've got the charge bonus. We'll give that to the Blood Knights, despite this being a city, uh, like, siege battle. Wailing Banner, we could give it to the Vargais. Their mobility will be a welcome uh, sort of supporting... Uh, value for fear and terror. Don't have any siege equipment, that's fine. We'll just bust through the gates. Because the worst case scenario, we lose the army to death. That's fine. Because, again, 
uh, I'm either disbanding them, well, I'm, I'm disbanding them anyway, so that'll be okay. So let's take this to the battlefield, let's see what we can do. Hopefully, if we're lucky, we can actually take Zufbar, sack it, get a lot of money, and then we'll probably have to disband this army anyway, but at least that buys us some time, gets us some more money. But yeah, let's uh, let's see what we can do here. Come on, Sigvald, don't fail me like you failed Chaos. All right, time for the Battle of Zufbar. I'm not going to gamble that. Let's start deployment here, and let's see what we can do. Um, okay. Let's get the... Uh, let's get you grouped up first. Let's get these Vargeists over here. Just not sure. They've got a lot of Thunderers. If I can knock them off the walls nice and early, wherever they end up, that'll be great. I want to have you and you and you over here to take down that gate. Let's get the Blood Knights in here as well so they can charge through afterwards and this is going to be my main assault. So let's get you guys in a thin series of columns. Get out of that firing range as soon as possible. And what else is left here? You and uh, which one did I take there? I took you there. So you guys are going to take this gate down. Hmm. Let's get these guys here. Okay. So that gate should drop pretty readily, actually. And the Terrorgeist as well. Hopefully can swing in and cause some damage. They have a lot of range, so I need to make sure my air units don't get uh, toppled too easily. Now, what's the speed on this 50? Not too slow. But I'd rather it push through the gate early on. All right. Okay, let's, uh, let's see what we can do here. All right. Keep pushing through. Okay, what have we got? What have we got? No Thunderers up top. That's an interesting choice. Very interesting. What the hell is going on? There they are. Alright, so they're still in motion. Let's drop in on some of these, actually, get some damage in. Okay, alright. Oof, taking a decent amount of damage from these towers. Alright, let's pull these guys out, maybe drop into some of these archers and whatnot. We're at the walls, we're okay, no one's hurting us. 26%, what's going on here? 31%. You know what? We can actually get up here and not be too worried about it, I think. Alright, let's drop in and just stay in the air. Let's get Invocation going, try and keep these guys alive. Take a lot of fire. Let's get this terror guy out to some safety here. What's this looking like? 67%? Okay. 92%. Alright, we're gonna push through there really soon. Dropping from the rear here. Mortis engine. Let's push through. You guys, let's push back here as well. There's the terror geist. You're safe. Let's drop you in there. What are we looking at here? 95%, so we're going to push through there soon as well. Okay, excellent. Um, let's see if we can actually push all the way through. Come on, drop over. Okay. Oops, not too high up there. guys. Let's actually push you up these walls. They'll be tired, but I don't think I can just push through here, unfortunately. Let's get through here. Terrorgeist onto these grudge throwers. You want these guys? Okay, alright. Not too shabby. No, that's fine. Uh, reduce power recharge rate. That's okay. 
what's going on here. We're pulling back, you're okay. Cause a decent amount of hurt there, okay. Actually push you up from here. Uh, dive down there. Dive that way. Come on, rush down. Let's not get ourselves killed. get the Blood Knights in here, and that'll be great. Okay, got some retreats going on. Now let's push through. Come on, let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh, wow, they're stuck there. Gotta try and keep them alive. Ooh, we lost something. We lost the Terrorgeist? Yeah, we lost the Terrorgeist. That's too bad. I was hoping to keep the Terrorgeist alive so it could join Manfred's army, but that's, that's fine might actually be able to do something here. Hmm. No, Blood Knights, keep going. Get out of there. Um, oh boy. Keep going, keep going. Not too shabby. Keep pushing. You guys are doing okay. Alright. Okay. Blood Knights. Come on, guys. Let's try and force a charge in there. Alright. Still have quite a bit left in their army. Push through. Let's push through. Let's drop this down. Hopefully it'll go off before too many of these units leave that radius. Wow, these guys just refusing to disengage because of that one guy. Alright, there we go. Got a rear charge in there. Okay, their morale is dropping significantly. We might have this. Oh my god. That's... A decisive victory. I did not think that was going to happen. Oh, I was heavily outnumbered. And I was up against a city. Very happy with that. I, I'm, it's unfortunate we lost the Terrorgeist. Who knows, maybe we'll get uh, the Dead Rise again. The Terrorgeist might come back. Kind of mismanaged it there, which is a really high-value unit to mismanage, but... Surprised we got Zufbar. Ah, uh, we're not gonna get the Terror Guys back. It's okay. Not the end of the world. Only lost 162. That's not even that much money, actually. We'll sack it. Ooh, nice. Okay. Alright. Um, let's see. Push back to Castle Party Hoff. And now let's consider our situation because this army is all right. Let's let's see if we can keep it alive. Merge these guys. Merge these guys. Ugh. Okay. Still losing a lot of money. No, we're not going to be able to sustain all oh, let's... Oops. Let's disband these guys. It's not going to make much of a difference. Let's see if we can get him something that reduces the cost of his army. Sounds silly. But that is... Not anywhere within my grasp. Okay, it's fine. Um, let's, up let's upgrade him anyways. Let's get him... Spirit Leech is good. You know, he dies really quickly. 
when he gets into combat. So let's get him Dark Knight. I want his armor up, because sometimes he gets into combat and then if he falls, it's a problem. 992. I can keep him alive for some time to provide support. Don't have Ingolstall. Once Ingolstall's back, we might be able to recover. Let's see. 992. It's an extra 50. We'll have to get rid of the army. We'll let him recuperate this one turn. And we can blend these armies together. Six slots. Want to recruit a, uh, a Terrorgeist into Manfred's army, but it looks like that's not going to happen. We'll get him a Mortis Engine, though. Mm. How many Vargeists do you have? None. I want him to have at least two Vargeists. Doesn't really have that many slots. Let's see. He's got enough Blood Knights. One more unit wouldn't hurt. Two Vargeists. Three Blood Knights. Three Crypt Horrors. That doesn't add up. Okay, we'll we'll figure it out. Might need to just blend a couple of these guys here. Can blend you. Oh. Wasn't good. 800. <laughs> I feel like I'm balancing like a household budget right now. Okay, that gives us some time to get these armies together, transfer them over, and our economy will be able to recover, I think. Zufar was disappointing in terms of this, the riches there, the spoils. No, no, we can't afford to build anything. What am I doing? Vlad needs to stay here, which is fine. Oh, but we can. That's a lot of money to spend on a 58% chance. Don't know about that. What about you? 10, 20, 78% chance? That might be better. I just want to keep these relations with the Greenskins okay, because if they go to war with me, that'll be a problem. Uh, war with the Dwarves. I haven't done any hero actions against them recently, so yeah, let's do that. It's still expensive, but better chance of success. Excellent. Maybe that'll help just a touch. Oh. Did I misread that earlier? I guess I did. Alright, whatever. That should help. Okay. Alright. Economy still... Not doing well, but we're in a better position now than we were before. wonder if Ungrim's going to try and hit Amityville. I really hope I can get the ambush off on him. I re And I also really think I, I crippled... Um, not running away. Crippled the Empire last session. I think they only have that one large army. So if I can get Manfred and Vlad together up on Nuln, I might be able to uh, eradicate the Empire in sort of a steamrolling motion. Really, man? Ooh, Reichland. Oh, I'm guessing Grunberg? Yeah, that's fine. I don't intend to keep Grunberg for very long anyway. I'm surprised I still have it. I expect this army to hit them next turn. I could maybe try to defend it. Nah, there's no point. There's no point. Alright, so Ungrim just fled south, which is good for me. Let's push to Schwarzenegger. Yeah, the Greenskins just took Zufbar. Alright, so we're in Schwarzenegger now. Uh, next turn we'll be able to blend these armies. Well, I guess I could do it this turn if I moved Manfred in instead. Backtrack a little bit afterwards. Shouldn't be a problem. Alright, let's do that. Save us some time in the long run. Alright, what do we want here? One, two, one, two. That's six right there. Okay. Very heavy on the anti-infantry. A lot of Vargulfs. Do we want these Blood Knights? We could go with the Blood Knights. We could axe one of the... Actually, let's get rid of these guys and get them in there instead. We could get rid of one of the Graveguard units for another unit of Blood Knights. Kind of want more Vargeists, actually. The reason being they're great against artillery. They can kind of hone in and take care of artillery nice and early. But one, two, three, four, five, six units of Grave Guards is kind of a minimum. Okay. Got these Vargeists, they're rank seven. We've got two Crypt Horror units coming in. Um, 
drop one of the Vargulfs. Three Vargulfs is more than enough. And two Vargulfs really is more than enough. Alright, let's see what that looks like. So Manfred now has... Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, eight, nine Grave Guards. Three units of Blood Knights. Three Vargulfs. You know what? Nine is too many. So let's get rid of some of these guys. Let's get you two in there. Yeah. Oh, man. Doesn't feel all that well balanced. Hmm. Down the line, I might get rid of uh, a Grave Guard for a Terror Geist when I can afford it. Which is right now, actually. I could afford it right now. Three turns, though, before I can push forward. The anti-large is really helpful. Okay, let's get rid of Sigvald's army. Sorry, buddy. Well, let's see if we can keep any of it alive. No. <laughs> we can keep Sigvald on his own. No real point to that. He's costing me 307. Sorry, man. We'll get you back in there. You'll you'll be able to shed some blood soon enough. Maybe we get rid of these blood knights and get some terror geists instead. Yeah. All right. Let's ban them. Are we in Schwarzenegger? No. Now we are. All right. Let's get a terror geist. Three turns it will take, but that's fine. Uh, Ungrim might come back out after he's recovered from uh, his attritional damage. Probably gonna lose Grunberg next next turn. I need to push Vlad out soon as well. Yeah, there's a lot to do. I could try and get Vlad here. Mm, no. I was wondering if I could uh, get a siege, go or sorry, an ambush going somewhere in between these two territories. Because that would have worked, but looks like that's not the case. Three turns, Terra Geist, head towards Wissenberg. I think the Greenskins have a handle on the dwarves. Okay, economy recovered, party's back on. This guy needs to leave. Once Ingolstall comes back, that should help my economy as well. I believe he's still wounded. All right, what can we build at Smellbad now that uh, I'm not too worried about money anymore? Hmm, actually, more money. <laughs> Not a bad, not a bad trade-off. Okay, uh, let's end the turn. Ah, uh, public order is dropping. Lack of corruption tempts me to get the uh, the winery instead, which, in retrospect, I could get rid of from here. Actually, public order is dropping here too. Okay. Oof, that was a couple of interesting turns we had there. What do you want? Oh, that, I don't recognize that flag. I'm guessing that's a rebellion. Okay, I hope the dwarfs occupy themselves with greenskins. Like I don't like this. Deliver thy message, lamb. So I'm... This is not good. They might declare war on me. Which is a problem because then I'm still fighting on two fronts. Alright, we're losing Grunberg, but we're losing it to Rebels, not the Empire. So, that's good. I'm glad I didn't drag Vlad all the way out. He'd, he'd be posing for an ambush in the wrong part of the city, or wrong part of the province. Alright. Okay. Yep. No, I kind of need money right now. Alright, I mean, we could take Grunberg back. But I feel like the Empire's going to move into it. Kemperbad, what's the situation here? Uh, negative 75 if the army leaves. Yeah, it's gonna drop again. Expand Sylvanius borders. Why are we only getting plus one? Hmm. I'm unimpressed. I can't just hang out at Kemperbad forever either. Need to push. Need to strike while the iron is hot. And right now the iron is quite hot. Let's move. Let's maybe try and kill a witch hunter. 
Yeah. Ugh, that's not helpful at all. Okay. It's fine though. Meanwhile, Manfred is still recruiting Terrorgeist. Okay, here. Anything we can do for more money? We can. Makes us really broke though. Ah, the extra hundred. Is it worth it? Probably. This has been sitting idle for so long. Okay. Onwards. Take Failed Dwarf back. Grunberg, the Empire's probably going to take Grunberg this turn. Yeah? No? What are you... What are you up to? I'm going to pull Vlad out of there. Mm, this is not good. That little pause during the Greenskin's turn made me very nervous. I can't just trade one enemy to the uh, to the west for another, or to the east. Uh, direction's messed up there. Okay, okay. Alright, one more turn. Never. The world. Do we pull Vlad away? Oh yeah, they took Grunberg. Oof. Not much in terms of defenses. Boris's army, if it comes in there, then that'll be hard to defeat. But Volkmar's army on its own, I might be able to destroy. Uh, maybe if we pop into an ambush instead, let's see, a 70% chance of success there. Let's, uh... What about uh, here? 45% chance, it's not good enough. You can swing down to Wissenberg instead. They'll take Kemperbad, which is fine. You take Wissenland and then push up to Nuln, maybe? Hmm. then Manfred will be able to head towards Wissenberg as well. Or will Manfred be distracted down here? So if we gotta if we gotta surround on him with an ambush. A lot of ranged units that I can close down on, some large units that a terror guys could take care of, but the von Garstein. Uh, Impossible. Let's try and ambush him. Let's try and ambush hope for the best. Okay, one more turn. We'll bring the Terrorgeist in. Manfred will be available yes. for combat. Let's see if we can actually kill. We cannot. Can we kill anybody here? We can. Uh, let's kill the Warrior Priest. Actually, let's kill the Bright Wizard. Fire damage could be problematic for me. Excellent. So let's get that out of the enemy army. Remove it from the equation. Let's get one more round of survivalist. Okay, that might might have helped me there. All right, onwards. Sort of a lot of quick turns here, and the economy is in this situation. It's not so uh, not so busy between turns. Ah, he spotted me. I think he tried an assassination attempt as well. Wait, that's not good. We're not at war. We're at war. Bordello? Wh what connection do you have to Greenskins? Oh, that's not good. What do I want here? Okay. Uh, growth? No, do nothing. That's not good. All right, dwarves. Can we just end it, please? Oh boy. Strength rank four. They're still strong. The high king. Um. What about you guys? Also, strength rank four. Oh, this is not good. So Manfred will be occupied here. All right. Devour Vlad. Pull you back Very well. here to some done. safety, let you recuperate. We'll lose Kemper bad, but that's fine. There's nothing I can do about that. 
queen skins. That's a problem. Not up then. That is a problem. Because now I can't get Manfred to help Vlad up on this flank. Or on this front, rather. Now let's put... Uh, let's put Manfred in the middle here. Drop him into an ambush stance. Now, no matter who comes out at me next turn, I should be able to respond. Hopefully the dwarfs and the greenskins will keep each other occupied for the next little while, giving me a chance to get into a decent position, I guess. Ingolstall, what can we do with you? I don't really care about construction costs. What are the other benefits we've given him? Uh, let's see. Increased income, right? It's probably best at Castle Partyhoff. Should uh, help. All right. Oof. It's tough. If I can isolate those armies, I'll be fine. Now, unfortunately, Sar here is going to support Azag, so I can't dive in for that fight. All right. Let's hope for the best here. Man, why do they have to declare war? Bordello of all people. Yeah, losing Kemper bad. That's okay. I might need to attack this army next turn. Ooh. They just raided, I guess? Okay. It's kind of strange, but I'll take it. It's another huge dwarf stack. What do the greenskins want? That's very creepy to look at. You know, and here I thought we had a good friendship going. Tried to keep them happy. Tried to keep them happy. Ugh. Wow, that's a lot of money. Alright. That's been detected. Okay. Okay. That's fine. Camperbad's going to hell. I can't hit this army because it will be supported. Almost guaranteed. Well, no. Can't reach it anyways right now. Okay, not a problem. Let's continue to march south. And around. I know my path. Okay. Meanwhile, Manfred, you've been detected. Can't hit Oakenhammer. Could hit Zufbar. Before it's able to recover. Yeah, maybe that's what we do. Push up to here, we'll hit the Zoof bar. No, let's I have to take this very carefully here. Alright, if we push up to here. We can lay an ambush. Maybe one of these guys will pop out and get ambushed and I can kill them. Then we'll have to slowly push towards Zoof Bar and maybe take it out of the equation. Raise it this time. Vlad continues to kind of come around, hit Wissenberg, maybe take Failed Dwarf. Karak Norn I could hit. Again, I just hope the Greenskins and the Dwarfs keep each other busy. Nope. That would help me tremendously. Uh, a bit more money. Not a problem. A little bit more public order as well, but that's all my money. No, no, no we're not going to do that. Okay. Right, let's get you back in here. Let's okay. Keep corruption going here. Where is... Actually, do we want to drop her into Vlad's army? Yeah. Alright, where is our... Unwise. Banshee? Alright. Forces. Neither of those tabs are forces. There we go. Pull her... Don't have that much money. Let's pull her back in here. Again, just for the corruption. Let's pull her back here as well for the corruption. Actually, can we... No. Can't do anything there. Yeah, not a chance. We could try it just to level up a bit. Yeah, I didn't think so. Eh, it helped a touch. 
So corruption here should be getting a decent amount of attritional damage, but they're raiding. When they're not doing that, it should cause some decent attritional damage. May have wanted to pull Manfred back a little bit to be closer to Castle Partyhoff, but too late. Still chasing me down, are you? If Vlad gets wounded because of an assassination attempt, I'll be pretty upset. I don't like that. Ooh. Um, let's see. They've got... They might have the upper hand here, actually. I could just let them pass through. They've got a lot of slayers. I've got a lot of large units. A lot of range units. Maybe we fight this. Maybe we, uh, oh, let's see. We can sneak in, hit the cannons and the bolt thrower, perhaps. Then come around. We'll need to hit the thunderers. It's a lot of range. It's the underway, too. Very narrow. Hmm. You know what? Let's try it. Okay. Obviously, I was hoping for a regular um, ambush when I set that ambush, but uh, I'll take this. Hopefully, it'll work out for me. They have a lot of cannons and whatnot. I need to charge down the field as quickly as possible. Long, thin line, so they can't cause too much damage as they charge down. Uh, let's see. you guys. Hmm. It's a lot of Argulfs, actually. <laughs> Maybe I didn't balance this uh, army all that well. Alright, we'll fly them in nice and early, hit some of these cannons, bolt throwers as well. Blood Knights, again, they're very anti-large. Keep these guys on either flank. Hate the narrowness really doesn't do me any favors. Let's group you guys. Let's keep you aside as well. Hopefully we can take care of all the uh, the ranged fire, the slayers. If we can get infantry battle going on, then my graveguard will be fine. Just need to make sure that we can't... Uh, rather that we don't let them hit our large units. Now where is their lord? Ungrim is over there. Obviously, leadership is not going to be all that helpful here because a lot of Slayers means a lot of unbreakable units, but uh, Spirit Leech will do some work and Donce Macabre will help. Um, okay, let's do this. Let's actually push you guys up here for some support as soon as possible. Alright. Okay. Let's see what we can do. so many slayers. Oh, boy. Oh, that's a lot of hurt. Keep them alive. At least for this approach. these guys back. A lot of damage already. Really not ideal. Push in. Let's push in. Let's do what damage we can do, of course. Right, so the long beards there. Oh, let's keep you safe. Drop these guys in here. Drop these guys in here. Where is... There he is. Okay. You guys really need to walk a lot faster. Okay, we should be 
fine here. Nope, those are not the ideal target. Go back to safety. Okay, let's drop in there. Even though that's not what I would like. Way too many slayers in there. Yeah, let's point this right now. Let's provide some support in there. You can. Let's run a few places we can. Ooh, what do we lose? Get the terror geist out of there. Get out. Alright, time to dive in. dive in. We're supposed to. We lost the Vargeist. It's okay. They're not the uh, highest tier of unit. It's a pain because they do take time to recruit, but it's not the worst thing that could have happened. Let's get the Mortis Indian to push through a little bit. Get invocation in there. Alright, alright. We're okay. Alright. Excellent. Beauty. We've kind of closed in on them nicely. Should be able to kill them pretty easily. Push them in from the rear there. All right. Again, Ungrim is also going to cause me some trouble. Slayers, I swear. Bane of my existence as a vampire count. Just a little bit. Ooh, Argolf, get out of there. Gonna get hurt. Push him there, push him there. Alright. Again, just gotta make sure we target appropriately. There we go. Nice, nice. Fortunately, I can't get the Vargolfs to focus in on Slayers unless they're like rear chargers. Because they will get hurt pretty badly. Alright, come on, Larson. Keep pushing through. The pores out of there. That will help tremendously. Actually, let's chase these guys down. Don't want them to last for very long. Get the Blood Knights out of there. Come on. There we go, just in time. Okay, I think we're done. Just Ungrim left here. Be some bit of healing going on. Yeah, we're fine. Let's speed that up. This guy's doing well. Okay, let's get you out of there. Don't need all this damage to take place. And let's actually push these guys in a little bit. Let's push these guys in a little bit. You in there. You in there. Drop. Decent indication. Just to heal people up. Alright. Okay, yeah, I'm glad I fought that. Uh, I could have let them go, but uh, then, again, they just survived to fight another day. And this helps me tremendously, because this way they can't come back. Decisive victory. Beautiful. Thought it would be a lot worse than that. Only lost 233 units. Yeah, too bad about those Vargeists. And that unit of Cryptors. Lost a couple units. But when there's so many Slayers... Ah, probably could have managed them a bit better. Lost a Tier 7 unit. That's... That's a real bummer. But, we've killed Ungrim's entire army. Uh, we'll dominate the captives. Oh, the Vargeists are coming back. Excellent. This, though. This is all... None of this is good. This isn't good either. Oh no. Oh. Into the city. Into Partyhof. No. That's a lot. 
of strength. Are you going to declare war on me as well? Are we already at war? What's going on? What's happening? Peace? Yeah, sure, okay. Money, maybe? Try to get some out of them. No? Sure. Whatever. Cool. That is a lot of green skins. Alright, a little bit of rebellion, not a problem. You can have it as long as the Empire has to fight for it. Please don't just raise it and leave. That's exactly what you're gonna do. Knew it. Alright. Okay, okay, cool. Damn it. Alright. Okay. Uh, let's see. Raise debt cost reduction. Better leadership. Better leadership. It shall be Ash. Manfred. Actually recovered quite well. Which is good. Uh, let's get you a little bit of an upgrade here. Oh, let's see. You're up against the greenskins. Against the greenskins. Better replenishment rate. Fate of Buna. Direct damage is uh, is good. Um. Gaze in a gash. Bones macabre. Against the greenskins, actually, um, Soul Blight might be the way to go. Reduce their weapon damage, reduce their armor, you know, in case of black orcs and stuff, and reduce the leadership. That's pretty good. So I could actually get Lore Master of Death. Helps the cooldown time for all those spells. And we're also going to pop in. Really can't make it, huh? Okay, we're gonna. Yeah, we're gonna. March to Castle Party Hoff. Alright, well, this is definitely not what I expected. Thankfully, Castle Party Hoff and Schwarzenegger have decent defensive structures and capabilities. Really, as good as they can get. So, we have some defenses to the south. Maybe the Greenskins will take, or the Dwarves will take peace now? Drop their strength Vampire. rank by a bit, still no. Okay. Still deteriorating. Alright. Vlad, meanwhile. Maybe we actually pick off Rorik Granite Hand's army here. A lot of slayers. Can we even reach him with a march? No. Where could he be headed? I'm guessing he's headed to smell bad. So maybe we can intercept him with an ambush. Uh, 70% chance. Okay. These guys are growing. Hmm. Do I take the defensive position, or do I try to push in? That's the big question. Let's try and assassinate this guy. Excellent. Might have them, might force them to turn around, actually. Uh, still take me too long. Alright, let's, uh... Just not sure. See, if I push forward into the Empire, then I could cause them some damage, force them back, might separate their armies a bit because right now they can just push forward with full force. Now Smellbad can hold its own if attacked, as can Amityville, I think, because it's a walled city, so I shouldn't be concerned about that. Maybe I should just go down to Wissenberg. Yes, that is the decision I'm making. March. Hopefully. Oh, that's the shortest route, is it? That's not the way we're going. Uh, yeah, we should be able to come from down here as well. So we're going to push I down there. Go. We'll hit Wissenberg. Maybe I raise... Um, Sigvald again, just to take Dwarf and have it. Nah, that'll be a waste of money. Alright. Okay. Castle Party Hoff Garrison. That's a lot of armies. Not up This could be... This is... This is frightening. Oh boy. Alright. 
Hmm. You know what? <laughs> I think I'm gonna call it a session here. I'm worried that if I continue, there will be possibly two battles within the next sort of turn cycle. Oh, there's Thorgrim again. Yeah, so I'm worried there'll be a couple of battles and we're really close to that hour mark. So I think I'm gonna call it a session here and uh, in that way, we don't end up going for an hour and a half or something. Uh, I hope you guys had a good time here. We did manage to recover our economy, kept the party going. Unfortunately had to give up Sigvald's army for that to happen. However, I think we're in a decent position right now, being at war with the dwarves and the greenskins and the empire and who else? Who else? Bordelow. Not helping me out right now. Really a problematic scenario. The dwarfs are really on the back foot, so the dwarfs are going to be taken care of over here. I don't think the greenskins are going to battle them over here, so they'll they'll be my problem, and I'll still be fighting on two fronts. So in a pretty tight situation right now, just as I was at the start of this session, but at least I managed to recover my economy. So, you know, silver lining. Always got to think about the silver lining, especially when you are not even alive. Uh, but again, with that said, thank you guys very much for joining me once again. I hope you had a good time. If you did, please do drop a like and a comment. Just lets me know. And the plan, I think, is to try and finish this campaign off before the Wood Elves release. And then we'll play as the Wood Elves. We'll replace this campaign with the Wood Elf campaign. Now, let me know if you'd like me to do the Wood Elf campaign in place of this one, whether it's finished or not. Um... I know we've kind of been committed to this, we've come a long way, it would, I would hate to just drop it. But maybe we take a pause from it, just so we can see the Wood Elves in action early on. Oh, that's a conversation for a later time, but as I said before, thank you guys very much for joining me. It's always an absolute pleasure. Um, I'll see you next time. Hopefully the Vampire Counts are able to fend off this multi-pronged assault from not even allied forces. Otherwise, cheers guys. I'll catch you at Castle Party Hoff next time.